What's happening, everybody? I am doing a tutorial today on multi-track input recording. So what that means is let's say you're doing an interview via Skype and you want to record your voice in one track and the person you're interviewing's voice in another track. So they're two completely separate recordings. And that way it's good for podcasting, it's good for editing, and it's good for keeping it separate and keeping it very clean. So I'm going to show you how to do that today on Audition 13.0 using a Mac. So let's jump right in. First things first, we need to bring up a multi-track session in Adobe Audition and we want to go to audio hardware. The easiest way to do that <clears throat> is click the little arrow on one of your inputs. Go to audio hardware right here. Now we need to create a new input specifically for this and through a Mac if you go down here and click on settings it pulls up your audio device MIDI setting. So we need to create what's called an aggregate device right down here. So I'm going to click this, then it'll bring up everything, all my channels that I have coming into the computer currently. Okay, remember in a prior video, we set up this uh, I show you audio capture. So that's part of it. And I'm going to select that. What we want to do this is going to create the multiple inputs that we will have the option to select through in Adobe Audition. So I want to do, this is what records my desktop audio. So this is what would pick up Skype. So I want to select that. Now I also want to select my USB codec microphone and I'm going to pick the one that has two channels on it down here because that's a stereo input and if I want to use stereo I want to have that option available so I'm going to click that so now you see my sub devices are selected as I show you audio capture and USB audio codec and both of them are stereo channels if you look here it's got two channels that means stereo okay so that's all set up I can rename this as whatever I want it to be so we'll just put uh, multi record test channels okay so I'm gonna hit enter and there you go so now hit OK and for it to show up we actually have to close down audition and relaunch it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay so here we're back with audition uh, closed down reloaded and relaunched and now let's go back into our audio hardware and let's see if what we just created shows up and there it is, multi-record test channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click that as my default input. We can leave the output the same as what you normally have your output as. Uh, as my default input, multi-record test channel, what we just made. And now also remember, if you're on a Mac, which this is what this tutorial is for, so I hope you are, uh, go to system preferences, and we want to go to sound, and we still need to change this to our multi-output device. This is our primary um, our primary output device that we're going to use when recording from our desktop okay so when we're recording screen audio from our desktop regardless of what program we're using Skype or YouTube or whatever we want our multi output device as our output device for that function now you have to remember when you're done doing this you have to switch it back to your primary source of output okay so in my case it's a headphone port okay so multi output device through sound we've done that now let's set up our mic okay so I'm going to go to the little arrow in input and I'm going to just go ahead and set up a mono mic here but look now I have multiple options uh, to record from from which to record so I'm going to pick this one right here that says USB codec it doesn't matter which side because I'm doing mono so it'll pick up in both channels now I want to go down and we'll pick this track to arm so track four is going to be my microphone track five I'm going to set up for desktop audio through mono uh, we could yeah let's just do mono uh, so I'll do the I show you audio capture and I'll click that now I have two separate recordings available to me I'm going to arm both of these tracks and you can see my mic right away is picking up because that's this microphone right here in one track but look it's not doing it in this track so now let's get a piece of music to play And it's picking up. You see that. So now, let's take this show on the road, solo these two tracks, and record. That's some uh, pretty ominous music. It's called Hitman. And it's recording separately from the audio that I'm delivering through my microphone. And you can see the levels are quite different on both of them, but they're very separate recordings from one another. So now I'm going to go ahead and stop those two recordings and we'll listen to playback. All right, so let's disarm those two tracks and let's hit play and see what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
That's some uh, pretty ominous music. It's called Hitman. And it's recording separately from the audio that I'm delivering through whenever my mic. I mute, whenever I mute it, it kills that track. It's just my vocal microphone. And you can see the levels are quite different on both of them. So now pretty cool, right? And I can take this and now it's just, and it's recording separately from the cool, right? So now they're totally isolated from one another and that's really good for clean editing and clean audio and doing things uh, in a very separate way from one another. Maybe you uh, cough really loud on your track and thank goodness it doesn't get picked up on the interviewees uh, recording because you have it. And so now you have the isolated audio. Uh, the key to this, though, is you want to have some headphones or earbuds on so you're not picking up um, background vocals from the person or you're not picking up background noise. Headphones help with that, and it keeps it where both tracks are very clean and very solo. So if you have any questions, concerns, or you find it's not working quite right for you, let me know. Call, text, or email. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys.